All right, we could have two big strikes settled right now. That actor strike that seems to be going on forever. A deal uh, reached with the major uh, Hollywood studios and separately culinary workers uh, who were threatening to strike across all of Las Vegas, and that could have affected more than just buffet lines, I might point out. That, too, seems to be resolved or close to it. Eugene Scalia joins us right now, the former Labor Secretary of the United States. Secretary, always good to have you. I, I don't know the details of these latest deals, sir. The fact of the matter is, though, that some of them have been very good for workers, but very pricey for management. The automakers are already saying these are going to be costly to digest, but digest them they will. What do you make of them? Well, we're certainly seeing a lot of attention uh, to strikes right now, and there have been some important ones. The UAW was the most closely watched and probably the most important, and it does look that the workers there made some pretty significant gains, you know, 25 percent pay raise over about uh, four and a half years, uh, some pretty generous immediate uh, pay raises. Uh, but you really, Neil, have to judge them in the long term, and I think the questions will be, as you say, whether the companies can digest these, remain profitable. And then the big question for the UAW is whether it can take wins like this and, uh, and successfully organize other uh, U.S. auto companies. You've got to figure that's their greatest hope, that they got such a good deal, they'll hope, uh, that they can have success at Tesla, that they can have success at companies in southern states that aren't unionized right now. I think the UAW's long-term success may be measured by that. Uh, more than by the, the terms of these deals. And, you know, I'll just say generally, there's a, there's a lot going on in the labor movement right now. People are observing that and wondering uh, whether we see, we're seeing a resurgence in union power. You know, uh, we might get a hint of that later today, Secretary, when Sean Fain, the OW leader, meets with the president in Illinois, for all I know, to formally back him for president of the United States. That wouldn't be a shocker, of course. But I am wondering what you make of the union vote. I know you're not a politician here, but I, but, but it, it, a lot of union chiefs, of course, tend to like Democrats, but the worker bees sometimes tend to favor uh, Republicans. Not all the time, but of course, the last time the union vote went for a Republican president outright was Ronald Reagan in 80 and 84. What do you see now? Well, you got to speak separately of the union leadership, especially folks that are based in Washington, D.C., on the one hand, and then the union members on the other. And historically, the, uh, you know, union leaders in Washington or people like Sean Fain leading an international union are very important supporters of the Democratic Party. That's where a lot of the money, the funding for the Democratic Party comes, is uh, through the union leadership, which, of course, is contributing dues that have been collected from the members. But members are often a very different story. You give the example of Ronald Reagan, who uh, was opposed by most labor leaders, not Absolutely. all, most, but was able to make uh, great inroads in what, uh, when you and I were young, we called those uh, Reagan Democrats. That was part of the coalition that uh, Donald Trump successfully put together in 20, uh, 2016. Again, the, the union leadership uh, wasn't for Donald Trump, but a lot of the union members were. And you'll, you'll see that fight uh, continue. You're getting a little bit of a feel of at times during the uh, debates that are going on now. Do you have any interest? It's a personal question, Gene, so if you don't want to answer it, believe me, you're not bound to. Um, you've served your government honorably as a labor secretary. Uh, you come from a long line of people who have done the same thing. I'm just wondering whether you would be entertaining a future government role in a Republican administration. I'm uh, back at my law firm, uh, where I've spent a, a lot of years, Neil, enjoying the, the practice of law right now. You know, we'll see. I've been in the government four times. I've enjoyed it. I certainly uh, value government service. If there's a good role, I, I'd consider it. But, um, you know, I'm back uh, working for my clients now uh, and, uh, and, and certainly enjoying that. I think your dad would have appreciated the, the non-answer there. Uh, that, was, that was very, very good. Uh, Gene Scalia, it's always good seeing you. Thank you very much.